again uh, this is the outline of the heart now we will learn how to draw the venous drainage basically the coronary sinus and uh, its tributaries in this diagram the location of the coronary sinus is behind the heart in the posterior coronary sulcus so i will drawing whatever is not seen from anterior in dotted lines so here the coronary sinus is a fusiform shaped structure which is located in the posterior coronary sulcus and it writes end is opening into the right atrium and this is basically the main tributary of the coronary sinus it starts from the lower part of the anterior interventricular groove which is visible uh, from anterior it ascends and it turns to the left along the left margin then it turns posterior and it ends in the left end of the coronary sinus so this part is basically the coronary sinus and there is another tributary which is running along the right marginal artery from there it turns to the inferior border and then it turns to the posterior coronary sulcus and it ends in the right end of the coronary sinus so this is one another another tributary of the coronary sinus so basically the coronary sinus is a continuation of the great cardiac vein in fact that is the largest tributary of the coronary sinus and we said that morphologically the coronary sinus is the continuation of the great cardiac vein so if you can remember the great cardiac vein accompanies the artery in the anterior interventricular groove that is the anterior interventricular artery which is a branch of the left coronary artery so this vein is named as the small cardiac vein which is accompanied by the marginal artery that ends in the right end of the coronary sinus if you take this coronary sinus there is a vein running from the posterior interventricular groove upwards and ending in the middle part of the coronary sinus hence this vein is named as the middle cardiac vein it receives a vein from above from the posterior aspect of the left atrium that is named as the oblique vein of the left atrium this is a small vein from the uh, posterior aspect of the left ventricle so this is the major formation of venous drainage and there are also some small veins which are directly draining into all the chambers so these veins are named as venae cordis minimae this venae cordis minimae are numerous in number and they drains into all the chambers of the heart thank you